Hello and welcome to episode 25 of Let's Play Planet Coaster Project Globe Explorer here on Theme Park Worldwide. In this episode, I'm going to be continuing with the English themed luxury hotel. And as you can see, starting to put in some more of the windows and finishing touches on the exterior of the building. Uh, in episode 24, of course, I put the structure of the building up, uh, made sure that the monorail actually passed through the hotel building. Uh, um, also started to put in the car parks area, uh, extended out the lake a little bit, and just started to give it uh, that overall feel to how I wanted it to look. So in this episode, it's about finishing the exterior of the hotel, uh, making sure there's all the landscaping around the bottom. Along with that, I've decided to add some more transportation around the resort area of Atlas Adventure. So I'm going to be adding some of that in, and of course talking about that later on. And uh, along with that as well, working on that themed bar and nightclub right up in the top of the hotel that looks out over the stunning countryside that surrounds this park and of course towards the theme park itself uh, along with that i'll also be revealing the name that i've chosen for this luxury hotel here at the atlas adventure resort and i must say there's been some fantastic names that you guys have been suggesting so as you can see here, putting in all the windows, uh, balconies, and all the wooden beams that add to the overall architecture of the hotel. And all the rooms that are actually going to be looking out towards the theme park are going to feature balconies. And that's why, uh, as you can see here, I'm putting in all these different doors with the balconies on the front. I wanted to make sure that every room that faces towards the theme park would be able to have a balcony uh, that guests can go and stand on and get some fantastic views all across the park park uh, of course with the park being designed with some fantastic sight lines i really thought that that would be a really nice idea that people can of course um sit on the balcony or just you know move the, the tables and chairs that they've got in the room out onto the balcony and look out uh, all across the park i thought it'd be a really nice sort of feature of this hotel and of course it makes it a little bit more premium like i say this is the luxury hotel that we've got here at atlas adventure and um, what i'm going to be building in episode 26 in the next video uh, is going to be putting in the next form of accommodation and that's going to be the more budget accommodation that we're going to have here at the resort uh, and that's actually going to be a Spanish themed sort of um, district that you can walk around and it's got all these different lodges and, and that sort of idea like this Spanish town and it'll have a main sort of hub area that features a restaurant and bar area as well and that's going to be going just to the left of this hotel uh, and I'm going to be working on that in the next episode. As you can see here, a big feature of this hotel is the fact the monorail passes through it. As I've mentioned in previous episodes, uh, the monorail is not actually going to have a station in this hotel. Um, it wouldn't do in, in real life either. I'm not just saying that because of the game. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't have one in real life either. It's got that pathway directly out the back that connects straight over to the main entrance. And also the monorail actually goes around the other direction as well. Um, so in terms of if there was a station, you know, it, it wouldn't uh, it'd take guests a lot longer to, to walk all the to, to get the monorail around than it would just to walk over the path straight into the entrance. So uh, that's kind of where I'm going with this. Thinking about some of the uh, decoration now up there on the roof, just to follow on really from what we did round at the front. And what you're actually seeing in this episode is about five hours worth of gameplay. Uh, I think it was about five hours and 25 minutes. Of course, I'll speed it all up uh, and edit it and stuff and don't really want to show you every single little thing that I do because it would get very, very boring placing loads of windows and wooden panels and stuff um, all the time. I just kind of show you a little bit of what I'm doing and then, of course, carry on doing it. But uh, yeah, you know, over five hours worth of gameplay sped up into a 30 minute video so just goes to show how much time and effort goes into playing this game and i'm sure anybody who plays planet coaster can relate to that as well just how much um work goes into planet coaster and, and all the effort with it but it's certainly worth it especially when you build something that's so big and so grand like this I just wanted to make sure that I got all the details right now and, and that's like these balconies here that are going on the roofs. Uh, in terms of the buildings underneath, there'd be some more bars, restaurants, shops, again, and they all look out towards uh, the river that runs out the back of the hotel 
and out towards the theme park as well. Of course, the views wouldn't be quite as good from um, on the ground level as they are higher up, um, but you still get a, a really nice view from there. And obviously the option is, you know, to go up to this rooftop bar that, you know, and when I say it turns into a nightclub, you know, it, it's like a classy sort of nightclub. After 10 o'clock, there'll be a DJ in there and uh, you'll see what I'm going to do with it later in the episode with lighting and everything. Um, but I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, over on the right hand side of the hotel now as in if you're looking at it from the front um, the right hand side I'm not exactly too sure exactly what I'm going to be doing around the other lake yet um, again it all depends on how well the game continues to run of course the frames per second has dropped quite significantly uh, whilst I've been building you can't tell as much actually when I've sped up the footage and doing this however you know the, the FPS has dropped I'll definitely be able to build my next set of accommodation and I'm hoping to be able to build this other hotel that the monorail will have a, a station in, or it would do if it was a real park um kind of inspired a little bit by the contemporary at walt disney world because i really like that um but yeah that's what i'm kind of going for uh, so yeah, the plan is in the next episode. It's going to be just one episode um, putting in the this Spanish sort of town that's going to have all these different lodges in. Uh, some of those are going to look out over the water as well. So should be quite nice. Like I say, that's going on the plot of land just to the left of this hotel. You can see it there where the sky ride is. The sky ride gondolas will actually pass over the hotel. Uh, so that'll be quite a nice little uh, feature as well. As you can see on the top of the uh, wings that we've got on the hotel, just put on them uh, other little turrets just so it adds a little bit more character to it, a bit more style uh, along with the United Kingdom flag proudly flying high there at the top as well so you know what i really like with this hotel is the positioning of it i think that's what's really made it the fact it it lines up perfectly with the main entrance and that street and you've got that path what leads out the back a two minute walk over the bridge and you're straight down to the entrance of the theme park and you're also going to be well connected to the other aspects of the resort as you'll see uh, in a few minutes time when i start working on another form of transport out the back of the hotel putting in these really nice railings now all around these um, little seating areas that you've got on, on the ground level uh, of course you know you don't get the views as, as much from the ground level so I thought let's give them a bigger balcony down at the bottom and I've put all of that railing in Right, onto something very exciting now that I've never built before in any of my Planet Coaster series. I'm putting in a swimming pool. So, yeah, I thought I don't really 100% know how to go about building this. So it was all about experimenting. And uh, let's just say, you know, I, I tried a few different ideas. This was the final idea of those i thought i won't sort of show you all the different ideas i went through because i was messing about with this for hours <laughs> but this is what uh, i decided on in the end so um that rectangle style um swimming pool and uh, yeah what i've done i've just used the land tool to dig down there of course making sure that it doesn't connect up to the uh, rivers and all the waterways next to it I want it to be its own separate thing so yeah i've dug down and then putting in this patio area using roof tiles or flooring tiles whatever you want to use them as uh, they're supposed to be used as roof tiles really but that's the thing with planet coaster and, and just the game in general you don't have to use things for for, for certain objects if you don't want to you can use them for anything as long as it looks how you want it to at the end result so yeah i've dug down and of course the idea is i'm going to use water to fill that up like the, the normal sort of water and um, that you'd use in the game however um, to make it that little bit more blue i'm putting in these blue sort of uh, panels at the bottom that also makes it look more like a swimming pool as well uh, and i'm putting in these blue panels all around the side there as well and shortly you'll see me add some more um, finishing touches onto there as well um, but yeah so this is the idea I've now filled it all with water and fill that back in at the side hey presto you know we've got a, a swimming pool of course I'd love to try and do like a water park I think you know if the game was still running really well for me I'd have done a water park to the right of this hotel as a second gate uh, and that's obviously something that you know you guys could add in if you wanted to um, but yeah like I would have done a water park uh, an outdoor water park with, with a few indoor sections as well and that may be something that i look into doing as a new project on planet coaster uh, like a water park or like a uh, you know you set a center park style idea but with a couple of rides maybe like a train ride and some you know relaxation rides that sort of idea not really focusing on the theme park side to it but more going along you know like a, a, a well-being resort sort of like that idea so you know i might look into doing that at some point in the near 
near future with another um, series here on Planet Coaster. Um, but yeah, the swimming pool's coming on really nice. Got them railings that are used for the ground floor balconies all around the back there as well. And, you know, there's a really nice variety of rooms in this hotel. That's why I didn't really want to copy and paste things too much. I wanted it to have a bit of shape, a bit of character. Some of these rooms look directly out to the swimming pool. You can see you've got some balconies. They could have a, a gate and be directly into the swimming pool you know they, they, and them rooms could be sold for a more of a premium price of course the higher up you get on the hotel the better the views are if you're facing the theme park for example um you know they would be more premium rooms than if you're facing out to the side so that's all stuff what happens in hotels isn't it and i wanted to make sure that you know there was a lot of different options available here so what I decided to do here is use two of these different panels to make a sun lounger because they don't exist in the game. So I thought, let's make a sun lounger. So yeah, like two of these shutter windows and literally put one on its side, slanted one and then slanted the second one as well and made a little sun lounger. So the idea is they'll spread all around the swimming pool and yeah, just be quite a nice sort of relaxation area. Um, but yeah, I think the swimming pools come together really nicely actually. It's a simple shape. Um, I would like to try and do like a, a round or curved swimming pool at some point. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, for this hotel, a nice just standard rectangle pool fits in as you'd expect really at that sort of premium hotel you know people would want to just swim lengths and that sort of idea um you know rather than various different water slides and you know i did debate putting in a couple of water slides at the back of this hotel but i thought it would ruin the class of it a little bit you know this is a luxury hotel as much as it's all family friendly still it's not like it's an adult only hotel or anything but uh, you know, I thought that it, it would take away the class a little bit, having loads of slides and stuff out the back. Let's keep it, you know, nicely landscaped. We've got this nice pool with all the white railing around the side. And uh, we'll have a little garden and bandstand area out the back as well, as you will see shortly. Um, but yeah, just putting all these different rocks all around there now and all the planting around the side there as well. Of course, it's a very important part of what I do in Planet Coaster, the overall look of it and the finish of it with the landscaping. Uh, and I want it to be as realistic as possible as well. So we've got this bandstand that we've got going in uh, just at the back there as well. The same bandstand that we've got actually inside the theme park, um, but this would be used to maybe have a pianist or uh, a violinist on a night, just sort of, you know, relaxing sort of atmosphere out the back of the hotel. People could go into the other bars that are in them windows there, uh, bring the drinks outside, you know, just have a bit of a chill out around the back of the hotel uh, as well. The thing about this is that the paths aren't actually going to be connected to the other hotels here. So as much as, you know, um, you, you'd still be able to walk into the hotels and look around if you're not staying there. I'm not sort of making it easy to connect the hotels. Um, well, connect this hotel anyway with, with the others that are going to be built. Uh, I want this to be very much separate. Like I'm not putting in a bridge directly from here over to where this Spanish uh, more budget accommodation is going to be. Um, however, if guests wanted to catch the boat or walk around further, of course, to be able to have a look inside but you know i'm not just going to put a bridge and make it you know very very easy for people to um come and sort of flood this hotel all the time um you know i want people to be able to relax and, and enjoy it however if they do want to come and have a look they can do but they've just got to put that little bit more effort in um to get over there than just being able to um walk over on a bridge that directly connects to it uh, the good thing is with that as well, if there's private events or anything like that running at the hotel, it would uh, be easy just to cut it off. You know, you could just have security on the front entrance, security on the bridge, and your hotel is completely secure. Of course, you could stop using um, the mode of transport that I'm going to be building just here um, if you wanted to. So, yeah, here we go. I'm putting in another boat. So, obviously, we've got a boat ride inside the Africa themed area inside the park this is going to be much bigger scale and it's going to have multiple stations and it's going to connect throughout the resort so it's going to run around um, the, to the right so obviously it'll come out uh, around that big lake maybe there'll be a station there depending on what I build uh, or if I can build there um, and I'm building this sort of backwards here but the next station will be up to this Spanish accommodation on the plot of land to the right to the left sorry of the main hotel 
um, and that's the, the sort of plan with this one so yeah I thought why not let's have some more transportation it means we've got a sky ride we've got a monorail we've got a tram and then we've got a boat so yeah you've got lots and lots of stuff to do in terms of accommodation and it also means that we don't need to run buses at all um, Walt Disney World has a lot of transportation uh, and that does include a lot of buses and of course this is a lot smaller um, however I've designed it that you know there doesn't need to be a road infrastructure we don't need to be running um, coaches or anything like that there's pathways there's transportation of course that's all environmentally friendly um, and then we've got, just got the the tram that that brings guests from the car parks down to the village area the entertainment district and to the entrance as well so you know I'd like to think that it's all been designed from the start really well in terms of the infrastructure of it and how the road systems would be and the car parks like this is a premium hotel so it's one of the first things that you come to when you drive in through the main road. You know, it's thinking about, about all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's all coming together. So yeah, we've got the station going in here for the boat. Uh, this station's going to look very, very similar um, all the way around uh, the, the others as well. We'll carry on with that sort of design. And out the back, it's just making it look a little bit more pretty and adding some more landscaping in there as well. Uh, as you can see putting in a nice little fountain package um, just so people can uh, relax out the back there some more rocks and you know having a hashtag rock works got to go in every so often hasn't it um, but uh, yeah overall I think it's coming together really really nicely and over the next couple of minutes you'll see me focusing now on the uh, planting all around the hotel and uh, just making sure that that um, looks great really some more rocks and trees shortly I'll be going around the sides and the front of the hotel and just adding adding in some more planting as well. So, um, like Walt Disney World or Universal Orlando Resort, you know, you will be able to use the boats and stuff to travel around. It's all free transportation outside of the gates of the theme park. As I mentioned in a previous episode, um, of course, the actual fake entrance to the park just for the game is going to be up by the monorail station the first monorail station by the car parks and um, so it does mean that all this transport will be able to be used by guests in the game of course this is also a functioning hotel um, so people will be able to walk into there however the bar at the top will not be functional um, for, for guests up the top there so yeah, all this landscaping's going in all around the side now, and you really start to see how this hotel's going to look when it's all fully complete now. There's not really too much more to do on the exterior, just some finishing touches here and there before I work on this bar on the uh, in the inside of the hotel. Uh, but I would love to know your favourite theme park hotels. So comment down below on this video with which ones are your favourite. I would really, really love to know. Um, some of my favourites, Europa Park in Germany, Fantasialand. I really like uh, Hotel Matamba that they've got there and it looks out over the park. Along with that, F Telling have got some really nice accommodation in forms of um, apartments and lodges. I've never stayed in the F Telling Hotel. However, what they've got in terms of other accommodation is really really nice um um, yeah, definitely recommend that. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to know. Comment down below your favourite uh, theme park accommodation. In terms of having a well-connected um, resort, Alton Towers is, is pretty good with that as well, really, in terms of all their accommodation. You've got the monorail that takes you down to the theme park entrance. Um, but yeah, if, if you're staying over in like the Enchanted Village or the Stargazing Pods, you've got to walk about five minutes or so to get to the monorail station. Uh, but that's not, not too bad at all, really, I don't think. Um, you know in terms of connecting people up with the uh, with the theme park entrance as you can see now I'm starting to work on the car park area um, of course before I'd put down like a bit of a basic sort of shape for it uh, but that wasn't the complete car park of course I wouldn't want it to just look like a mud car park when it's such a premium hotel um, so yeah just using these other panels again they're supposed to be used for roofs and floors really but thought yeah we can use that as um, for in the car park there so after putting in the basic shape I was pretty happy with that so I decided to expand out um, with these different panels in the floor just there obviously you get a really nice view uh, when you look towards the hotel now and it gives you a good idea on uh, how it's all gonna look when it's complete this is the entrance area now that I'm putting in. Of course, there'll be a security checkpoint there to make sure that guests are staying there before they park uh, on this hotel car park. And uh, yeah, just making it look quite pretty there, putting in uh, these little roofs on the top. 
uh, of the archways there and all fit in with that grand British style. And of course, on here would also be a sign uh, that would have the name of the hotel on. And you can see that I'm going to put in some wooden beams now. And at a later date, I'll be adding the name of the hotel onto there. So what is the name of the hotel? That is the question. So should we have a little look? Let's. Uh, I have picked a name out. Um, so here we go. Let's uh, reveal the name for this hotel at the Atlas Adventure Resort. So uh, a big thank you to Kieran Holland in the YouTube comments who came up with the name the Atlas Manor Hotel. Really like it. Like I don't think it was, you know, it's not too complicated, is it? But I just thought Manor sounds very, very British. So I thought I love it. So the Atlas Manor Hotel, of course, it is a hotel. It's this big grand English manor. And uh, of course, the park's called Atlas Adventure. So I thought the Atlas Manor Hotel would be great there were some other really really good suggestions uh, that i really really liked and there was a few that were brilliant however the fact it was a luxury hotel um you know some of the names sounded more like there would be fit some budget accommodation rather than a luxury hotel so i thought the atlas manor uh, hotel will be a really good name in terms of the story pretty basic but i really like it what kieran's come up with uh, an english earl has invited you a daring explorer to stay at his manor to rest your weary head between between your world expeditions so there we go thanks for that kieran holland it's the atlas manor hotel at the atlas adventure resort i just think it fits you know really nicely uh, anyway starting work now on that bar area up in the top of the hotel this is something that i was really looking forward to obviously i don't normally focus too much on the interiors of buildings um, because i like to uh, mostly focus on making the parts bigger and uh, more details on the outside that you can see however with this uh, uh, I thought, no, we're going to go all out and we're going to do the interior up the top here of the hotel with this bar and nightclub area. Pretty plain building at the moment, you know, just a uh, white floor throughout the whole thing. Well, like a cream white. Um, and then, you know, you haven't really got a proper roof in there. It just extends all the way up. No real theme in, of course, or anything like that. But what you have got in my opinion, are the best views at the whole resort. Looking out over towards the park one way and looking out towards the surrounding countryside the other way. So I thought we need to make this really heavily themed and really, really nice in here. And I wanted to, to do this. I could have just not done this interior bit, you know, and left it. But it was a big, important part of this hotel for me. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, I'm working on this bar area. We've got this uh, vehicle in the middle there as well i thought you know that all can fit in with the the storyline of it being this manor you know and you know that this earl may be is interested in transportation and, and that sort of stuff you know and motor cars and all that sort of stuff so let's sort of go down uh, that route with this one uh, but yeah this is the bar area that i'm putting in as you can see all these wooden panels all the way across um, have these ones stretching down from the top there as well and uh, yeah this this manor is just uh, th th you know this bar in the manor is just going to be really nicely detailed quite cozy sort of feel to it gonna add some planting in there uh, and stuff as well and there's going to be two different dance floors so i've put in these lifts just here as well it's just like a fake lift door uh it'd be cool if there was a proper lift in the game wouldn't it they could take guests up like that they could actually exit the elevator and uh move out into the bar that'd be cool but uh yeah i thought we've got to have some access up to there so yeah we've got a lift putting in these uh wooden roof panels now just to block that in a little bit um, just so it looks a little bit nicer in there. We're going to hang some chandeliers and stuff down from there as well at some point. And obviously, uh, we need some seating in there as well. So using the spooky style uh, seating, however, making them red so they don't look quite as spooky. Um, but yeah, I just thought sofas and stuff would be really, really nice in here. Uh, then I put all them tables in a couple of minutes ago. I thought, let's, you know, move them a little bit now and... You know, it's all experimented. Like, you know, there's no right or wrong way with Planet Coaster. You can just experiment things, and that's what I love about it. Um, like this, you know, this is going to be one of two different dance floors um, that I'm putting in just there. You know, the dance floors aren't massive. Like I say, it's not a uh, you know designed to be just a nightclub. It's a bar relaxation area, but there'll be a DJ in there as well, you know, uh, on an evening, maybe after 10 o'clock. Uh, someone put in the comments on the uh, previous episode. Thought that'd be a good time. 10 o'clock is a nice time isn't it um so yeah we've got these chandeliers that were moving out all the way across the top there as well 
Um, you know, I think they just add a bit of class to it, don't they? A bit more glamorous, really, in their hotel. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd put them chandeliers moving all the way out across there. And uh, already you can start to get a good idea now for how this looks. Lots of different artifacts and things to look at I'm going to start putting in now. Starting off with these like old chains and that could all fit to all the boats and stuff like that that are around in the area. You know, they were used to like um, like moor up some of the boats and that sort of idea um, outside the hotel. Just putting in a couple of uh, barmen behind the back there as well. Just thought, why not? Let's make it look that little bit more realistic um, around the back just there. And just to fill in some of the gaps now, just putting in some planting in the hotel there as well. Um, as you can see, uh, there's a few little areas that just need some more um, decoration. So I thought this planting would be a, a perfect idea. We've got some vases there and there's going to be some pictures on the wall, uh, all that kind of stuff. Pictures on the wall and pictures from behind the bar. I love it. <laughs> but uh, two different types of pictures. Uh, put some of these lights on the side there as well. Um, really nice sort of glamorous lights and you know it's nice to actually do an interior i don't do the interiors that much at all so i thought it'd be a little bit uh, different to, to do that some more artifacts and stuff for around the uh, tops now as you can see we've got the roof that extends in uh, i thought it'd be quite nice to keep that but add some more artifacts got this plane uh, propeller that we're going to put on there we've got an anchor uh, that's gone in there as well uh, and there's going to be loads of other just random things you know just no direct story with it all but the bar could kind of have a loose story about all these different artifacts that the Earl has stored inside his manor and that could carry on you know each of the rooms would have different artifacts in that he's found maybe he's done a lot of world traveling and, and, and exploring as well so you know it could just be called something like the Explorer's Bar uh, I was thinking oh the Explorer's Sky Bar so you know you go up here and know that you're definitely going to get these incredible views but we've got all sorts of stuff some bits moving some bits that don't move um, all the way around the top um, up there just to sort of fill in the space and have lots to look at um, I love that in a, in a themed bar having lots of little details to look at and you know you've got all the theme in you've got the fact it turns into a uh, an, an entertainment space and it's got the incredible view so it's got all the the three fantastic things that, that it needs really and of course it'd have amazing drinks um all different uh, cocktails and stuff that are all based on different attractions in the park and uh, yeah i can just imagine it. i think that would come together really really nicely uh putting in some more wheels and stuff there you can tell you know that this uh a lot of the explorations and stuff have been around looking at different motor vehicles and that's why we've got this this motor car in the middle i just thought that'd fill the space instead of just having one big dance floor in the middle and uh, when it's not being used as a, as a nightclub um it, it just makes it a little bit better i think having all that in the middle just there and just sp spreads it up a little bit you could have like you know Com dance competitions between the two different dance floors and stuff like that like the red dance floor and the blue dance floor and um, you know d doing all that kind of stuff and uh, likewise you know it's one of them things it could hold family entertainment in the daytime uh, as well um, and you know and you, you're around the hotel you could do like a um, like a quiz trying to like a like a treasure hunt that's the word I'm looking for uh, a treasure hunt that you could do all around the hotel a big emphasis on this, of course, will be some lighting. So we're just putting in this truss all the way around the side there now. And of course, on that truss, we need to attach some uh, lighting onto there as well. So we've got these moving heads and um, the moving lights, as they're just called in the game. Uh, and yeah, these are all different colors and they will shine all the way around inside there. Of course, if this was uh, going to be more realistic and in real life, uh, then the lights would just shine on the inside. However, as you'll see shortly um, at night, uh, the lights do shine all the way out through the roof of the hotel and yeah you know not very realistic at all really i do wish that they did stay inside the building however nothing i can really do about that because i did want some nice lighting on the inside but another action-packed episode coming to an end just a couple of minutes to go uh there you go you see what i mean by the lighting it's quite uh yeah different there isn't it shine all the way out obviously normally that they'd stop at the inside but i tell you what how good does that look really pleased with it very atmospheric of course all the lights and that could be turned off if you wanted to as well 
and just have it as more of a relaxing area uh you know and then also you can have it as a nightclub if you wanted to as well and it'd all be fully soundproofed and nice and relaxing and enjoyable if you wanted to or you could have it as a big party session but there you go here's a few different angles just so you can see the completed uh hotel the uh, atlas manor hotel really pleased with how it's come together across the past two episodes of course if you didn't see episode 24 check it out here on theme park worldwide um it's well worth having a look at seeing how the hotel started it was just some grass and obviously we've built it up into this tall manor this british themed manor and yeah look at that loving the uh, the nightclub in there all the lighting and stuff it just works really nicely doesn't it and you just imagine sitting there you know drinking some cocktails having some bar snacks and looking out at some amazing views and you'd also get a great view of the nightly firework display as well that takes place in the park as you can see the monorail nicely passes through the hotel there as well and of course we've got the wonderful swimming pool down there on the right hand side as well and you can see from a closer look at the swimming pool that that just fits in really nicely um, with the hotel directly there behind it and you know like quite a, a basic pool but it was the first one that i've ever built in the game so i didn't want to um do it too much and like i say it, it kind of fits with just that rectangle shape um no slides or anything like that just a standard pool um that i think works really well uh, but it's worth pointing out there'd also be an indoor pool at, at this hotel as well as this uh, of course the park's located in the united kingdom so the weather isn't always the best but it would be a heated outdoor pool and as you can see, we've got the nice relaxing boats out the back there as well that will connect to some of the other areas of the resort. And just before we wrap up the episode, a couple more shots there from inside that bar in the daytime so you can see how it would normally look. But uh, there we go. Thank you very much for joining me for episode 25 of Let's Play Planet Coaster Globe Explorer. Uh, and I'll be back very, very soon with episode 26. And I hope that you all very much have enjoyed watching this episode. It's been great to film it, uh, great to put it all together. And you get some fantastic views of the monorail out there as well. Look at that directly out the window. I'll be happy sitting there uh, thank you very much for watching theme park worldwide and that means it's time to cue those credits see you later